Hi everyone! Today I show you three of my favorite EQs that I like to use for mixing and music production. They are all a little bit different from each other, so I use them for different problems and in different situations. Let's have a look! The first plugin is the FabFilter Pro-Q3. This equalizer is very versatile, so that's why I really like it. Let's have a look now in the overview. So the first thing is actually you see here zero latency. You have zero latency, natural phase and linear phase. I use most of the time the natural phase, but if you uh, use zero latency, for instance, uh, when your computer can't handle a lot of plugins, then uh, this is really recommended or when you want to do some mastering, then linear phase is really good. I put it now in natural phase. So the other thing is you just can uh, move around really easily here with your bands. You can place them everywhere you want. You can cut or you can boost. And uh, you can also have uh, several runs. You can move them also all at once. So that is like this. So this makes it really easy. Uh, here I have my sound and I like to locate it a little bit. So I go here, place my band. And here I have my different settings for uh, my shapes. So I go here to locate. And I also can decide what my slope will be. So if I go a little bit lower, I can take it on 18. So and then I can uh, locate my sound here. So I leave it here. You see also a spectral analyzer. This is also really useful and there's not really a lot going on over here. So I can cut this as well. I also always listen. So I cut from here. Now I can adjust my sound further. I really like what is going on with the overtone, so I will boost this a bit. Every band has also different settings over here. So I'm now in stereo, so that means that um, left and right got the same equalization amount. There's also left and right, and left and right is very useful when you have different signals in the left and the right side, and you just want to adjust one signal. You have also mid-side uh, processing, so I can decide which band will be uh, my mid that I want to process, and then you click on here and you click on mid. The same is also with side, so I can say, for instance, here, this is now my side signal, and this sound has maybe a little bit too much bass for the side signal, so I can take this a little bit out. Another thing that is really useful is also the analyzer. So here you can see all the frequencies, and I can decide if one is uh, too much to get this a little bit out. But I also have the option to use a dynamic EQ. And this I like actually better for resonances because a resonance is not all the time occurring. And with normal equalization, the sound would be removed all the time. If I make it now dynamic and I put here my gain zero, so I stay here now on zero without a cut. Let's do this now. So I have here my equalizer and I can go here and I go down. This is extreme now. So now I take out this resonance completely. And here I decide to have this just a bit. You also have the possibility to select everything at once. And then you can adjust here the gain scale. You can go smaller or you can even go higher. You can also listen to a band uh, just like this. So, and then I can adjust my cue. And then I can take out different uh, frequencies if I want to. Another cool function is that it has a spectral analyzer and you can use this in combination with several sounds. So I have here a kick uh, low and it kicks up. Now I would like to clean up the sound a little bit. So I have the EQ on the first one, which is my main kick, and I have it also on the kicks up. I'm on the main kick because I want to adjust this one. And I go here on analyze and I see all the channels that have an equalizer. So when I play the sound, now the gray one is my kick low, so you only see this one. 
So now I click on Cakes Up, and that's the red one, that is this one, and I can see this one as well. Now I have both in my analyzer, and I can already see that both have quite some energy over here. And my kick low has a little bit too much. So now I can decide to lower it a little bit with the EQ. This way I create more room for my kick sub because this one is also playing at the same frequency and this really helps to clean up my mix. Now I want to bring more punch in the kick low. So I go up here because you can also see that at that point is also a little dip in my kick sub. So I have a little bit of room and then I can adjust this. My next plugin is here on the snare drum. This is the split EQ of an even diet. This one has a really cool function because you are able to just adjust the transients of the sound or the tonality. And you also can use it as a normal equalizer. So I'm also able to just move it around. There's an analyzer in here, so I just uh, can dip or I can boost my sound. Here you also have the cue, so, so I can make this wider or less wide. So now let's look at the transient function. So we will listen to how that sounds. I go here on my snare drum and I move this up. So you can hear it already. It gets more. And here less. So and that is different than normally equalizing. That goes like this. So and now it's fully gone. And here we have a tonality. So I move this up. So you hear more reverb now. There's a little reverb in the sound that comes more out. So more sustain and now less. I really like this plugin because I can uh, adjust my transients really completely differently than my tonality and separate from each other. And I can't do this with another plugin. And this is the third plugin. This is my favorite one from Plugin Alliance. This is the AMAC Analog Mastering EQ. I have this one here on my master channel. So I use it now as a mix bus treatment and it gives me a little bit of this analog vibe. And I really like that I can make gentle settings. So it's perfect for this kind of treatment. So you see here all the different bands. I can turn them on and off. And I have here also low cut and high cut uh, filter. So I can put them on and off. So I can listen now to the frequency. I have this on auto listen. And then I can hear what I'm doing here with the frequency. So I go back here. So I do the same now with the top end. I go up here. I want this to come out a little bit more. So I go here on 10K. And I go a little bit back. I can do the same now with the other bands. I go up here. Here's good. And I go for my low mids here, a little bit up. I'm back. Just small steps. I do the same with the mid band. Nice. These are my favorite three EQs, but I'm also very curious which ones you like to use. Let me know in the comments so we all can check them out and I'll see you next time.